advertising. As the need for food continues to increase during the pandemic, many are relying on the help of the El Pasoans Fighting Hunger Food Bank more than ever. Today, one organization stepped up to help feed family members who are often overlooked by food banks. ABC 7's Andres Valle explains. Many El Pasoans lined up today to get food from the El Pasoans Fighting Hunger Food Bank, but this time their furry friends got in on the action. How does it feel to grab some extra dog food for your pet? Awesome. Yeah? Yeah, the, the dogs need food too. <laughs> Today, El Paso Animal Services gave out free pet food for those who came to the food bank. A special appearance was even made by Chico the Chihuahua to cheer up those in line, as well as some adorable pups. We want to make sure that pets stay with their families and not end up at the shelter. Ramon Herrera is with the organization and is more than happy to help El Pasoans. We find us they'll often share the people food with the pet to make sure the pet is cared for. Susan Goodell, the CEO of the El Pasoans Fighting Hunger Food Bank, is finding that a lot of pet owners are appreciative of this initiative. You know what? It helps a lot. It helps my, my dog a lot. But yeah, he's an eater. He's yeah. an eater. He likes to walk. He loves cats. Edera hopes to continue to partner with the El Pasoans Fighting Hunger Food Bank and hold pet food drives once a month. We're going to be in all parts of town, but we definitely want to target specific populations to make sure that we're helping everyone in El Paso. Gotcha. Andres Valle, ABC7. And El Pasoans Fighting Hunger, El pa Albertsons and ABC7 have joined forces this September. The next time you shop at Albertsons, consider donating to the Nourishing Neighbors Community Relief Fund. Just $1 can provide seven meals to the community, and you can donate to the campaign at any Albertsons pin pad during checkout. Still have a few days to go in the month of September, Stephanie.